Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Hey, it's a coffee talk. Oh, it's a coffee talk. It sure is. Ah, Mr. Craig. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great. Friday fun day. <laughs> it always is. Every day is fun day, right? It really is fun. It's fun overbooking. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, over, overbooking and, and feeling like we're under delivering, right? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of under delivery happening today. <laughs> That's what she you know, said. Yeah, it, it, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> you can't please all the people all the time, but you no, can't please you... some of the people some of the time? Or is it the other way yep. around? Some of the people, some of the time. But we're going for the biggest net, which actually brings up a great point. Mm -hmm. um, we were kind of going through, I, I think I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago, we were going through our service team and like going through meetings and all this stuff, right? Yeah. Um, when you come to when you come to a point where you're putting new processes into place and everything, uh, you come to this point where you're trying to make decisions and it's like, but what about this? Right. Mm. So, so any new process, it's always, but what about this? But we, it's like, you got to look at it from what is going to be the best process to serve 80%, not the 20%. Because there's always going to be variables where whatever process you have isn't going to fit everything into place. And usually that's the stumbling block that puts yeah. that, that, that causes us to think, mm, maybe let's not, let's do this later. Like we'll come up with a better idea or something, but you just need it. You need the bulk of it to be taken care of. And if you have a process and it's getting tracked and measured, then you can constantly improve it, but you mm -hmm. got to get on the field if you're going to run the race. So gotta take if, action. otherwise you could push that thing off. You can always push it off. Oh, okay. We'll just wait until we have a better process. You got to have a process though. Yeah. Perfection you know? is the enemy of implementation. <laughs> yeah. I, it is man. It's so easy to sit on the sidelines. Yeah. There's a really, really, there's a really good book called the E-Myth Revisited. That's a, uh, it's about mm -hmm. business and or it, I believe it's in there. If not, it's in the, the um, something startup. But but either way, um, it's a concept called minimal viable product. Minimum viable product, right? And mm -hmm. that is, like a lot of people will, will go take this approach of if you build it, they will come, right? So you make everything, you build out the whole thing, and then it's and then crickets. And it's the same right. thing with with building the processes in the in the agency or trying something new. You can't spend all the time putting just all the granular details together and making it happen. Cause then what if it doesn't work? You spend all that time on the front. It's almost like you're, you, if you're going to build a city and you're going down this road and you just keep building the next block in front of the cars so that they're seeing the whole city, but it's actually not built and you build it. And then it, it also makes it much easier to pivot, right? Cause you got to pivot. hundred percent. Yep. That's it. And, and I think that so many times we wait to, to have the, the blueprints for the whole city before we build it. Mm -hmm. But gosh, I mean, you and I both know this. In the process of building it is how you learn, like to your point, to pivot or mm -hmm. even where to go. Because yeah. by the time you're done with a project, whatever it may be, this could be anything new that you do. If you're waiting to have that finished product before you throw it out there or, or finished process before you throw it out there, then um, you don't learn anything. And learning is through implementation. Like you can, as you learn, it's so crazy. You always start somewhere and you have this idea in your head, but if you start running with it right away, by the end of it, it's a totally different thing. Yep. A totally different thing. And you would never have come up with that if you didn't just start implementing. Yeah. I think it's, you know, our dome up here, it talks us out of doing things. We'll come up with yes. a million excuses because we don't want to fail. We don't want to look bad. We don't want people to laugh at us. So we don't do it. 
but look at us. I mean, we're do we've been doing this and people have been laughing the whole time and who cares? You know, people laugh at me all the time, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. So, but it doesn't matter, right? Like, you know, who's right. really laughing are the ones that are doing it, watching all the other ones pointing the finger because you know, what are they doing? Right. And it, and it is, it's funny because you don't like, you know, you don't want to get, you don't want to screw up. You don't want to get anxiety. You get anxiety because, you know, it's got to be perfect, but there's no worse anxiety than never starting because right. you have all this pressure on you. The longer it takes you to do something, the more pressure you put on yourself, the more pressure you, you might think with other people. Uh, what, what people are going to think if you keep telling them that you're going to do this thing and you don't do it, then it's building up, building up yep. so that it, it's got to be amazing when it comes out, which right. it still doesn't. But yeah. that's kind of like that. It's it, it's this anxiety ridden ball that just keeps building yep. up. Look at look at our. So Jason and I are in this coaching group. It's called um, the two 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 CC. Uh, coaching group yeah. with with click funnels so we we're in this group we paid a whole lot of money to be part of this coaching deal where we're learning a ton and some of our peers in the group well we're the only ones that really have a, a fleshed out podcast that we and it's only because we've just been doing it for a long time and the questions you get are are all of these questions like oh should i do this what should i say and it's like just go it doesn't matter because at the beginning i mean from some of the guests that we've had recently and the conversations that we have are so much more powerful than at the beginning, right? We were fumbling around. We didn't know what we were doing. We had terrible mics. You know, all of the things weren't perfect, but we were doing it and we were learning each time because we were doing it. Right. And we keep, now we're kind of revisiting, we're doing some, um, like a rewind reel that you guys hear, uh, on, you know, every once in a while we'll throw back an old episode and then I'll, like it'll just pop on my podcast at the end of like somebody else's podcast. So, and then I'll listen to it for a few seconds and I'll be like, Ooh, that was really painful. Yeah. Yeah. Not that this is getting, I'm going to look, I'm going to listen back to this. Yeah. In six months and, and think the same thing. I mean, that's right. just natural. Yeah. Your six month forward version of yourself is going to be such a better deliverer of whatever you're doing because of what you did six months ago. But if yeah. you don't get off your ass and start doing it, nothing's going to happen. And six months is going to go by. I always find it. So I always think about the Beatles. It's so interesting to me the that Beatles? they were only together. Yeah. For seven years. That's so insane. in seven years, if you think about the very beginning when they were this pop band to the very end, when they're writing prolific, uh, you know, music. Well, I mean, I guess for pop genre, very like it changed, like it evolved so much. You think of the end Beatles to the beginning and you're like, that's worlds apart, but yeah. it was seven years. They came out with an album in less than a year. Every album was less than a year, less than a year. They just kept going. They were all, they, they condensed probably 20, 30 years yeah. down to seven. Well, years. they introduced psychedelics they, to the equation and that kind of, <laughs> <laughs> hence the long hair. Yeah. The yeah. ruffians and beards. <laughs> dubious but yeah like look at how quickly because they just went out and did it and you know, there was yeah. a point when the beat when john ringo paul and why am i forgetting john ringo paul and i could picture him he died bass player no yeah. oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh. This is embarrassing. So everybody's going, you idiots. They're yelling. See, <laughs> yeah. we still, we, I mean, we are idiots. That's yeah. the point. <laughs> yeah. But they, they at one point over in Liverpool were playing in a bar and thinking we suck. There's no way we could ever break through. And then they did, you know, because they kept doing it. You know, Malcolm yeah. Gladwell, the tipping point, and he has a bunch of bunch of different books but he talks about that and he brings up the beatles it's the, that whole ten thousand hours right it's not the right. ten thousand hours of planning it's the ten thousand hours wow. of doing right kobe was is in my opinion i bet uh some people would say it's it's lebron <laughs> or it's or don't argue or, with yourself before you come out right. with a thought 
<laughs> but but at the end of the day, it, it's it's look. Kobe went to practice early. Kobe stayed late. Kobe spent more time. He spent the ten thousand hours doing what he did. He may have had a little bit better natural ability, but it wasn't a billion times better. Anybody that says, "Oh, he's just naturally athletic," they're taking away from what he did, right? And anybody right. that's successful at anything, it's only because you spent more time doing it. I mean, us writing all the business, doing it the way that we do. It's just because we've been doing it longer and we keep doing it. And man, I mean, last year in December, I was crying, spending money and not getting results. And, and I stuck with it and then boom, right? And it's the same thing. Anything you can, you know, you, you are 10 years away from being the best guitar player. Right. All you got to do is do it all day long. Yep. You know, Brandon yeah. said that you are the best drummer that he's ever met. He said that you are the best living drummer that exists. <laughs> I don't know about it anymore, Mr. Craig. <laughs> well, but but only because you haven't been practicing, right? You you took away those 10,000 hours that you put into it. Right. Yeah. No, it, it it's true. Like, it, 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 this is a great lesson in general. Like, I need this lesson all the time is just do it because there's a lot of planning. And, and that's not to discredit planning and processes because you got to have those but um you got to start to do that part yeah well <laughs> but you got to start everything you got to start and it's a lesson that i think everybody needs to constantly think about like time is short we've learned that in 2020 right that the, that um things change fast especially now and just do like i know everybody has that one or two or three things on their mind that they've probably been putting off it's the end of the year just do it like whatever it is whatever it is mm -hmm. you're gonna get rid of anxiety you're gonna who cares if it costs a little money to to implement whatever you guys are thinking it is like it might be that thing at home like dude for me it was like the garage was a disaster and i had to pay someone to to come out and haul away some garbage um, but dude, that, that was a huge weight off me and I was, a, I'm able to work better because of it. Cause that's yeah. like the, Oh, that thing was like weighing on me. Right. Every time I walk right. by it and stuff. So it's well, like all those little things, just do it, just do whatever you, yeah whatever you know you need to do, just do it. People get the fear around the money when you spend the money on the business. Like, Oh, I'm not gonna be able to take out money. Or I'm not going to, it's like, look, you're going to take out the money. You're going to waste it. We were talking to a real great guest, um, for the future summit. And he said, you know, you can take that thousand dollars, buy the thousand dollar shoes, or you can take that thousand dollars and put it back into your business and turn it into 3000, 4000, 5000, whatever, right? It just multiplies. So mm. anything that you put in your business, even if it's in a ta into a tactic that doesn't necessarily work, well, you've learned from that. You've learned yep. from that, from that thing. So everything is an investment. I mean, how much do people spend on college? Hundreds of thousands of dollars for some piece of paper that really... Yeah, unless you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer, I don't even see, or an engineer. I guess there's a lot of careers that you can get out of that. But, <laughs> but I don't feel that, like, I got my money's worth out of, out of college. I learned more in business, doing business, than I did in the business classes that I took. A hundred percent. And I got, in what I learned, because I just went back to school, like, eight years ago or whatever. And what I learned was more of... I mean, I was working full time at the time and I had multiple kids and I was like, how do I balance all this? How do I do more in less time or how do I get more done in my day? I learned how to, that I had to work out. I had to eat healthy at the time. I was working more than full time. You I was still have to eat healthy, time. Mr. Jason. I, I do in order, honestly, that honestly, the last couple of days I've been eating a straight, like straight diet when I, I haven't been this year because I've been yeah, enjoying the cakes. And ice yeah, well, they're good. good. They're good. They are good, but they slow me down. Like I, and I yeah. was like, dude, I don't. I am sick of feeling not a hundred percent. So mm -hmm. I started eating healthy again, and uh, but all of it is it, it's just you. You learn a lot of stuff through the process. So my point with school was is that the process of going to school and just having that on my plate and I was making straight A's, which I never made back in my mm. day, was I was setting myself up for a sure. new standard. And I got yeah. used to this this new thing. That's what I learned out of school. Sharpening school the sword, Mr. Jason. That's it. Sharpening it, you know. Sharpen that sword, Mr. Craig. Sharpen. So do it. Whatever you guys have. 
do it. If you think it, if you've been thinking about it for a long time, implement it. Life is short, right, Mr. Craig? It sure is. Mr. Craig knows this. Yeah, forty-eight now. <laughs> he's he's very close to death. <laughs> Pretty much, much closer to death than to uh, birth, which is not great. It's not great news. What birth or death? Death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but at least I have the antibodies. True. True. I'm selling well, antibody blood for uh <laughs> Mr. Greg. It's probably illegal. <laughs> yeah, so click the link below. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has just gone awry. <laughs> This has, but do it, whatever that thing is on your mind. Yeah. And you know what you actually should do right now? Pick up your cell phone. Pick up your phone. Here, look like this. Hold on. Pick it up. We're going to give you two seconds. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. You got it. You got now it. Plug in five, two, zero, mm -hmm. two, one, four, two, two, one, nine. Now I'm going to do this one more time. Five, two, zero, two, one, four. Two two one nine. Me and Mr. Craig are going to pick up our cellular telephones when you pick up yours and you text us. Uh, you give us a text message, if you will, and we will text message you back. And honestly, our texting community is growing. It's super fun. We have a lot of fun, don't we, Mr. Craig? Oh, we sure do. They do get some great messages and we will answer. We, Jason will answer better. Because I'm still learning how to work this finagle machine. I'm 48. A cellular telephone. Yeah. It's, cellular. it's not like the old ro rotary. He tries to spin his phone around. Yeah. I'm like, you know, it doesn't. Where's the little circle thing? I'm right. Operator. Operator. <laughs> give me a 601. <laughs> awesome. So we also started another pod podcast. If you guys want to check it out, tell it, uh, tell the dudes, uh, telemarketing telefunnels you can hear all about that side of um what's super exciting for us that we're mm. doing and a whole bunch of other agents are doing or uh, mm. reach out on our website whatever yeah or go to the webinar webby go to the webby live.teledudes.com yep or don't it's okay too <laughs> but have a good weekend have a yes. good week and just crush it just crush it. We'll Just see ya. do it. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100,000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes, it's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will, it's live and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm, it's super awesome. Mm, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Craig, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure. Live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome. And it's a, it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator, sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents. This is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents well what the heck is that number again i can't remember it it's 520-214-2219 that's 520-214-2219 okay. i love it i'm gonna text it right now 520-214-2219
All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.